It's one for every bottle of the drug deputies say they found in his minivan. We're told the drugs were on the way to Atlanta, most likely to make the popular street drug Purple Drank. A traffic stop on I-10 this morning in Grand Bay. A big bust for Mobile County Sheriff's deputies. 252 bottles of promethazine, that's about 30 gallons, now off the streets, found hidden in a rented minivan. The driver, 43-year-old Dannon Jameson from Houston, now has the longest list of charges in Metro Jail. One charge for every bottle and another one for marijuana. Captain Paul Birch with the sheriff's office says it's the first time he's ever dealt with this drug. I'm sure this wasn't going to, you know, a pharmacy or some medical clinic. Um, someone's using it for illicit reasons and someone taking a prescribed drug without, you know, a doctor's uh, care, it, it can be deadly. Experts say what makes it so deadly is what it's mixed with. Promethazine, which is basically cough syrup, is usually combined with codeine, soft drinks, and candy to make the popular and potent drug Purple Drank. Birch says two major interstates that go right through our area are helping spread that drug all over the country. All of this, we're told, was heading to Atlanta. You know, I-10 and I-65, I mean, unfortunately, Atlanta has become a big hub, you know, for drug activity, you know, a hub for drug distribution. But we, we do have a, a very skilled special operations unit that, that's trained in highway interdiction. Today was proof of that, and so is this. A record-breaking bust last March in Conecuh County on I-65 near the Castleberry exit. That time, more than 800 bottles of the syrup mixed with codeine were also found during a traffic stop. Researchers say one in 10 American teenagers have taken some sort of codeine cough syrup. Birch tells me one bottle of the drug found today goes for $80 to $100 a bottle on the streets.